Well, how do there, chums? This is going to be my Beachhead Best Tips Guides. This is just the best tips. So initializing in, you're going to see that you're going to start this. Being on your freighter, not having to find a crash ship, which is pretty darn awesome in itself. A lot of this expedition, you're going to be using your freighter to warp, getting in your ship, flying down on little away missions, which is pretty it's kind of nice. Some of the missions are a little bit laborious, a little bit taxing, a little bit repetitive. Unlike Endurance and Polestar, the Polestar expedition is one of my favourites. You'll start on the um, the freighter on that one as well. But anyway, this is my best tips video. Okay, once you're actually in, you do get some tips that are behind me there. You can read those if you really want to once it comes in. But it always starts you in this first person perspective. So I'm going down on my quick menu now and I'm just changing that. I'm just going to toggle the view to first person perspective. Nice. And I'm going to go into options and go into difficulty. Now, you can toggle all these down to make it a little bit less difficult on you. You know, one of the ones that you can't do this time is to make it so fishing is set to auto catch, which is a bit of a shame because you do have to catch five fish in this. Now, the fishing is a little bit bugged out. If you haven't got enough storage space inside of your exosuit and your fish go over to your ship they don't cat they don't count as being caught it's it's pretty odd but i'll get to that in a moment i'll show you some footage that i had from my actual jaunt anyway okay now we're in awesome oh one other thing that you want to do is go into networking and i disable my multiplayer turn off cross platform and make sure like pvp is definitely off if you're not going to turn off multiplayer, just make sure you've toggled off the PvP and you've got your base settings however you want them. There is no base building mission inside of this one, so whether you build a base or not, that's up to you. Expedition wise, okay, we're going to go through each phase and I'm going to tell you any difficulties or obscurities with each of these missions. I mean, it all starts off pretty darn simple. You've got to repair technology on your freighter, so you actually have to go into your freighter area and you can see here that there's damaged items. Now inside of your freighter it has given you one repair kit so you can repair one of those things for free. If you are okay with doing duplication methods I would suggest going to a planet getting yourself some ferrite dust to make metal plating, getting yourself some oxygen and making some personal refiners and or portable refiners I should say and then duplicating these repair kits and that will make things a lot easier. You can just go through and repair pretty much all of this and get that popped straight away. Sweet! Now there are two scanning missions. There is to scan three fauna and there's also one to scan 13 flora. Now the scan of 13 flora, you might not get that done all on one planet. And there's two planets inside of the starting system that you really want to visit. This one here is great for a first visit. It's got lots of creatures on. Make sure you feed the creatures and scan the creatures. Once you've fed the creatures, they're going to poop and you're going to need feces later on for, for putting down like farming rooms inside of your freighter. So hold on to that feces once you've got it. Okie dokie. And there's when, when you're on that planet as well, take a photo because you need to take a planet or uh, take photos of a solarium or hot planet. You need to take a pla picture of a dead planet as well, an airless world, which there is one here. It's the ringed planet. OK, now, as you're flying down to the ringed planet, if you go into the rings, you can start shooting all the asteroids there. If you can't find any other asteroids in space, the rings of a planet are actually made out of asteroids. So you can shoot all those. You've got to shoot 50 of them. And that's a very good first badge to pop. You're going to need silver and gold to create all your rooms inside of your actual freighter which is a big part of this expedition. So make sure you shoot the 50 asteroids, get a load of silver and gold. There's also another tip that I've got for you for building out your free freighter in a moment. Um, so just hold on for that. So you want to visit that one, take a photo there. You won't be able to do the frozen planet until you get to about rendezvous two when you get to the fishing planet, which is planet Akai. And yeah, so you can do your, um, you can do your photo there and that'll pop the milestone badge for that. So pretty darn simple. And a lot of these are very straightforward. You know, warp into another system, constructing rooms. Uh, I've got a video on constructing rooms. I'll play that for you now. Okay, right, now I'm back up on my freighter. What I can do is delete out the rooms that are here and everything that's in here just to get a load more resources, mainly silver. What's this thing? All right, fine. 
Yeah, because this all counts as a base. It's like all this sort of stuff. I can delete all this too. So here we go, look. Boom, boom. Go back there, delete those. You can't be inside it when you delete it, so just be a bit mindful of that. That weird ship sound you, you just heard was an exotic. It's not bad looking exotic. Yeah, you can see there I'm getting quite a lot of silver. Don't know what that thing is, but I'm going to delete it bit by bit. Have that out of there. Oh, look, there's a little screen there as well. Okay. And I think we're about done, aren't we? There we are. Okay, right, now we can build the freighter however we wish. So I need a fleet terminal room. And I might put in a second one of those. Maybe even a third. There we go. And then we need a double cultivation chamber. We've got the feces we need. Put that there. Might as well build a couple of them. Get those in. Lovely. And I think that's going to pop us a badge. There we go. Nice. Okay, now we've got one wiring loom, so I can get that in, can't I? And get that fixed. There we are. Done, done, done. And this one. Oh, I need magnetic resonator and antimatter. I need antimatter and antimatter housing for those. But I'm going to be a little bit sneaky. I think I know another way to do this without doing it. So here we go. I'm going to put down a portable refiner, if I can find the dang thing, there it is. And I can put down three of these. Right. What I want to do then is from my actual freighter. OK, so I need to go to my freighter inventory. I noticed I've got a repair kit there. I'm going to put that into my exosuit. Lovely jobs. And then I'm going to get that from my exosuit. Where are you? Repair kit. Stick that in there. And then we can build three more of these. So I'm going to stick that on top of there, like that. And another one on top of there, like that. Pick it up. I'm going to pick up all three this time. And there you go, I've got three repair kits. Let's do that again with the free repair kits. And we should end up with nine. And then we can do it again and again and again, you can get the idea. Can I use those repair kits on the things that I don't have? Yes, we can. A, a repair kit, square. Sweet. Well, that saved me crafting a load of materials, didn't it? Okay, lovely jubbly. Okay, so there you go. There's my tips for constructing rooms. Just delete everything first. Get loads of silver and gold that way. Righto, so come to the aid of a stranded life form. You are probably going to be needing some navigational data to get yourself some charts. Now, what I would suggest is there is another mission a bit later on in one of the latter phases, which is chart five waypoints. Now, if you just lock your sort of position or your compass point onto a planet and you fly on over, you can actually do a scan every now and again and come across waypoints. They're little save beacons. In fact, I think I might have some footage that I'd be able to share with you. One moment. Nice. All right. I think that's counted as one anyway. Yeah, one of three. And I've got three of five here. So, yeah. Um, so just continue on doing what I'm doing. So oh, I've already hit that one up. Cool. There's not much else here building wise, is there? No. Right. Well, I'll take to the skies then. We're still going towards that um, distress signal anyway. And on the way there, I'm shooting and I'm scanning. I've only got one more creature to scan as well. There's only You've only got to scan three creatures. So hopefully there's one more creature that I haven't scanned on this planet. That'd be nice. Should be loads, actually. But OK. Oh, yeah. Safe point right here as well. That OK. 
Right, so back over to phase two, because yes, once you've actually managed to get that navigational data, then you can actually get yourself some distress charts. I'd also suggest getting some alien charts, maybe go to a couple more waypoints, but you are going to get gifted some navigational data as one of the rewards for popping one of these badges. OK, so there's the Discoverer of Flora, which is the 13 life forms that I mentioned before. You also get a badge for walking. Yes, and you can just walk around in a circle if you really want to. But don't worry, you're going to pop this one ambiently. OK, cool. The crash site of um, um, a giant freighter. Hopefully you're going to find that when you've got the same sort of distress badges as those. So when you're getting your maps, maybe pick up five distress ones and five of the alien charts, which I'd suggest. Right. You've also got to catch five uncommon icy fish. Now, this was the one that was a real pain in the neck for me. Now, I've got some footage on this, but it is sheer frustration. You can share mine, but basically the premise is, is when you're catching fish, make sure you've got lots of free space in your exosuit. If they go over to any other storage places, your freighter or your ship, it didn't actually count them as icy fish, even though it said icy frozen wells on the write up for the fish. Here's the actual footage. OK, we've caught a giant eel. Hopefully this one's going to freaking work. Can only be caught at night time. See that? No, that one didn't freaking work either. You're having a freaking Jeffrey, mate. Look, it's not there. I've got that type of eel. But it hasn't shown me the blue one. Oh, this is going to annoy some people, isn't it? Myself included. That's really freaking annoying. This is random as it is. Hold on. What about inside the fishing catalogue? Let's go into um, the old wonders. Let's go into fishing. I bet you it's not registering in here either. Right, where's all the frozen fish? Here they are here. No, look, there it is. It's showing that I've caught the blasted thing. And the ice data. It's just given me a different fish model inside of my inventory. How freaking broken is that, people, inside the viewer burst? That's just... Oh, dear. Livid. Livid. <laughs> oh, dear. OK, now I know this frozen clam works. All right, so this should have pop it right now. There we go. Oh, my days. That probably took me four times longer than it needed to just because the game is freaking foobard. OK, all right, so there we go. We can pop that then. That's going to annoy people. That's going to cheese people off. And I don't blame them. Oh, my days. Oh, hold on. They're inside my starship. Well, why didn't it? I've got room in my exosuit, though. What? OK, well, I might as well release all of these fish, mightn't I? Let's go in here. Let's go and release these fish. I don't know why it didn't pop them. There you go. I'm going to release all these and get a load of nanites. It's not going to give me enough nanites for the total that I need, but I don't really need these fish. So I might as well get rid of them all. So it looks like the actual cards for these were going somewhere they've gone into my ship inventory and maybe because they went to my ship inventory maybe that's why it didn't count them that's so freaking weird though i mean i still caught the freaking frozen fish no anyway it's gonna take me a while to do this yeah right buggy mess i have hit up hello games hopefully they get round to fixing that one because that was annoying as heck it probably took me twice as long to do that anyway and then on to rendezvous two. Oh, something to mention when you're getting the um the chart maps for you know, distress signals alien chart maps i'd also suggest perhaps picking up a couple for relic sites now you are going to come across relic sites using the alien chart maps but it's not guaranteed and there is one mission to view visit a um uh, relic site anyway okay moving on to uh, phase three pilot your ship hopefully you're going to pop that one ambulantly just flying around especially if you've been shooting asteroids and doing all that sort of malarkey anyhow photograph three different environments the first two are in the first system that i mentioned before the airless world and also the hot planet then there's also one more which is a frozen world which you should have done you should have photographed the planet where you're doing your fishing 
and in Rendezvous 2, I think it's called Planet Akai. Uh, right, construct a double cultivation chain, but that's why you need the Fecium to put that room in. The farming room needs Fecium, so get that in. They've also given you Nip Nip Buds, so you might be able to grow your own Nip Nip. Not that you really need to, but if you want to get it out of your storage, that's the time to do it. Destroy the asteroids, hopefully you did that as the first mission that you ever did. Yeah, because that one gives you everything you need for silver and gold. It also gives you new five new cargo bulkheads to install. That goes. Righto, complete the fleet expeditions times three. I've got a sneaky little cheat for this. You can actually send your frigate out on a mission, then go speak to the frigate commander, look at the mission, then abort it. You have to do it at the right time, and then you go come out of the menu, wait till it goes green, go back in, then debrief them. I've got a video on it, just in case that didn't make sense. Here's that video clip. There we go. Let's debrief. Let's see what we get. Lovely. Debrief commander. Sweet. He's doing quite good for a little one-star fleet, isn't it? Okay, cool. Let's head on over here then. Let's go send it on another mission. Hello there, chum. Now, I do know that there's a way... If I send it on this two, two star one for a second. Boom. Now, what you used to be able to do in previous is you send it off like that. Go up here, go over to it, and you used to be able to cancel it, and it still counted. So speak to Commander first, though. Don't just abort it straight from there, and then abort. Don't do it from the first menu, do it from the second one. And that used to work on previous expeditions. Okay, I think they might have fixed that one. Yeah, you have to complete it fully. Not just sort of sack it off like that. Cool. All right. Uh, wrong console. Hello there, mate. Right, okay. Let's just send it on the balanced one. That's only 38 minutes then. Sweet. Oh, waiting debrief. Oh, okay. Okay. Go back up. Let's let's see if it works. Maybe it might still work then. Look, it's gone green now. Debrief. Did that work? It did. So you can just send them. Cancel it. Debrief. Send them. And do it that way. They don't have to go the full thing. Okay, got you. That still works. Sneaky. So there you go. Another little tip there for you people. Okie dokie, piddly pokey, and we're heading to Rendezvous 2 now. Let's go there. That made it a lot easier, didn't it? Now, if these tips are helping you people, you know what would really help me? Smashing that like, the subscribe, the bell, and um, yeah, hopefully coming back for my next video. Heck yeah, be good to have you along. Salute to Mondo, thank you. Righto, chart five waypoints, which I've already covered when we were talking about getting navigational data. But yeah, maybe hit up a few more so you get a load of navigational data because this this whole sort of expedition needs you to find various things. Righto, phase four, learning alien words. Now you can just find knowledge stones on planets and hit those up. Or you can go to the station, talk to chappies in the station and learn the words there. You're going to visit loads of stations, you're going to come across loads of knowledge stones. Or if you get to a monolith, you're going to get three words from each of the knowledge stones on those. Or if you go to a relic site, there's usually two to three knowledge stones there that you can hit up as well. The ones that are above ground, not the ones with the treasure in. But there we go. Hopefully that's a nice easy one for you to pop. But a lot of these are easy to pop, to be honest. Constructing the teleportation chamber. In, oh, you needed an amino chamber for this one. An amino chamber and also, I believe, was it the cobalt, but the second one up from the cobalt. So you have to refine the cobalt to the next level. And getting the amino chamber was a little bit tricky because you needed, uh, was it, uh, chlorine, which you can make from salt, and salt you can make from oxygen and D, hydrogen. So there's a little bit of crafting to go into there, but if you can find a colossal archive or a minor settlement, you can normally buy amino chambers. And some stations actually sell them, or some of the visitors to stations or trading posts might have amino chambers with them. But colossal archives, if you come across a colossal archive, make sure you buy an amino chamber or a minor settlement might sell them as well. 
discover one ancient ruin so there we go that's what i was on about buying a ancient ruin chart map which you can get from the cartographer it costs you free navigational data for one but you only need to go and find one and there you're going to find some knowledge stones as well so there you go dig up buried items although this says one man's treasure it's not actual treasure chests like at the buried relic sites no these are just littered on any old planet so just you can even do this on the first planet you're on just select this mission and your sweep scanner will start picking them up nice and easy that one is super easy you're going to get a load of fireworks for that though so they are going to fill up your inventory space i'd suggest not doing it as one of your first missions but you could if you really wanted to and then set them off early i saved mine to the end and set mine off when i completed the expedition it was lovely especially when you've got like the normandy in in, in view at the same time uncharted systems this one was a freaking git okay so when you warp, if you warp into a system and it says discovered by so-and-so and it's already been found, that doesn't count. It's not uncharted systems of space. It's systems of space that no other player has come across. And even with multiplayer off, <laughs> it still, that still doesn't help you. So when you get to this, you've got to warp jump, maybe about four or five warp jumps. And as soon as you find one area of space that's uncharted by anyone and it comes up with, you know, first first encounter or whatever you're the first person there to actually find it then just hit up all the little stars around that system okay around that planet tree system that you just found do all the neighboring ones all eight around them hopefully you're going to find yourself your own little nook in space where you can just do that that one was a git that one took a lot of warp fuel so yeah you're going to be crafting a heck of a lot of warp fuel because you've got to at least do eight warp jumps and then you've got to account for all the ones that are going to be discovered by other people didn't like that that one was freaking dull freaking boring nearly fell asleep okay go on earn 4500 nanites when you're doing your fishing you're going to get a load of fish that you don't want releasing them back into the water gives you nanites i got 1500 nanites just for releasing fish so that's a thing you're also going to get given a thousand nanites every time you get to a rendezvous point so hopefully you would have popped this one ambiently too okay lovely jubbly and um i would suggest spending those nanites maybe getting warp s class warp class modules for your ship for for your well not for your freight no not for your ship because we're going to be doing all the warp jumping inside of the freighter it's hard to know what to spend those nanites on to be honest people Righto, rendezvous four, easy peasy, lemony squeezy. Now, when you get to rendezvous five, you've got these encrypted ones. Now, the first one is just to get some readings, which is cool because you're using the dosimeter for that. So you just got to, it's actually visiting a few sort of relic -y type sites and things, which is fine. The next one, though, this encrypted one is really weird. It asks you to go into the log and swap your mission to another mission. And it looks like it's community locked. And I think it's supposed to be. But there is a little bit of a cheat. You can go and speak to the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, the Quicksilver Merchant, buy yourself a Myth Beacon, and it actually moves the mission on. I've got some footage on that. Here you go, I'll play it for you. Okay, here we go. Let's head on over then. It does look like it's got a little shade of blue in there. Let's have a look. The bar isn't at the top. The bar isn't there. I don't think my discovery servers are working. I don't think... Oh, they are working. So I just don't think it's actually moving this progress on. Look, it still says 0%. I don't think it's actually working. Acquire the Myth Beacon. You know what? Let's just see if we can freaking buy the Myth Beacon. They used to sell it inside of here. Let's we'll see if it's for sale. Myth Beacon, Myth Beacon, where are you? It's a consumable one. There you go, Myth Beacon. I'm going to buy it. I've got enough Quicksilver. There we go. Ha 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 ha! There we go. We, we moved it on, people. As soon as you've got enough Quicksilver, go and buy it from Johnny Five. Not that it tells you that you can, but you can. Okie dokie, hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully Hello Games doesn't patch that and fix that because that helped immensely, especially since this is a two week expedition and we don't know how long that's going to take to unlock. And then these last two here, these two are pretty much concurrent. They kind of run simultaneously. You have to go to a, a, a marker for this one, 
to initiate the myth beacon and that's going to summon in the normandy and then after you've claimed the normandy you actually fly on up to it and you have a final communication with the normandy there's a little bit of lore and snippets of story that go with this which is quite nice that didn't mean anything to me because i've not played mass effect hopefully you really enjoy it and yeah that's actually finished it that actually finishes the expedition and then once you're actually done make sure you click this badge right here make sure you click that then it will let you exit out of the actual expedition and finalize it and complete it it's also going to give you the final rewards which is the title of renegade title of paragon and also the a normandy to claim in your other save so if you haven't popped that and you just wait for the expedition to end you might not get your normandy make sure you click that badge it's very important so there you go people that's pretty much everything that I have for you. Now, if you want to watch my full playthrough in full, it's about two hours long, but the, it actually took me probably about three and a half hours to do this expedition. And I've cut out all the dull moments, all the things you don't need to see, me flying from A to B. So yeah, anyway, I put a video link up there. If you really need that deep dive and playthrough and you want to play the way that I did and get it done in around three hours, that's the video for you. Anyway, till next time, people. Hope you've hit that subscribe button. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Dynasty.